Hi, this is Nick from the Protax team, and I'll be showing you how to e-file a T1 return. First off, you'll find yourself on the returns page. From here, you can either create a new return by clicking on this button, or import returns from other software by going to import returns. From here, you can also see a list of all your clients. You can sort the returns by name, return name, date created, year, and status. You can also view return, carry forward, duplicate, and rename a return. From here, you can also hit this button to authorize a representative, filling out this form, and hitting the accept button. Let's create a new return. The tax year is 2019. Select a client, create a client, fill in the email address, and continue. Let's wait for the return to load. Here, you'll find yourself on the T1 info, where you can enter your client's basic information. You can also use the T1 Express, which is a ProTax form to enter your client's information quickly. You can also hit the Return Actions button and use the Autofill My Return feature. You can also fill the T1 Authorized Rep from this page, fill out the information, hit the e-file button, and authorize a representative. You can click on Return Actions and Autofill My Return. Hit Continue, which will lead you to CRA's website. You can also view PDFs on ProTax by clicking on this button. You can go to different forms in this section. Let's go to T1 and the PDF button. This is the ProTax Quick Bar. Hit this button and search for forms quickly. Let's search for Alberta S11 and BCS2. You can also add new forms by hitting the Add New Form button, selecting the number of forms you need, and clicking on the Add to Return button. You can also see all the available forms by hitting this button. With ProTax, you have access to all the Canadian English forms. Note that ProTax currently does not support Quebec forms. After you are done with filling in your information, you can head over to the Auditor tab to look at any warnings and issues. You can see the issues in red which will not let you e-file your return, and warnings in orange, which is an indicator to let you know to check something. Clicking on an issue or a warning will send you over to that field. You can either dismiss a warning or resolve it. Let's enter the SIN number and notice that the warning has disappeared. Let's click on an issue, and we can resolve the issue by entering the date of birth. You can also click on Return Actions and Print My Return. You can select a print set, specific forms to print, and print the return. Once you are ready to e-file a return, go to e-file and e-file your T1 general. If you still have any issues or warnings, you can see them here. To e-file your return, hit file return and accept. 
to securely transmit your data to CRA. And that's how to e-file your T1 return. Check out our other how-to guides on how to use Protax.